These days, you can find John McNaughton working diligently as the owner of a real estate business. On even better days, he could be seen enjoying the St. Petersburg lifestyle. This includes being on the golf course as much as possible. I'm a uh, real estate broker and I do association management. My hobbies are golf and bowling. I play golf at Seminole Country Club where I'm a member. I've been a member for three or four years. I like to play two to three times a week and it's probably my favorite activity. But life wasn't always this way for John. He was injured 28 years ago while on the job. I was working on some heavy equipment and we it was a forklift. We had a large lift in the air and a block of wood fell off the top of it when someone pulled a lever and I didn't see it and it came down and hit me in the head. And it was probably um, eight or 10 by 12 block of wood. It wasn't real severe pain initially, it was just nagging pain. I think as I got older then, then the issues started showing up and the more arthritis I had in my neck the more it contributed to that pain as well. My pain was predominantly in my neck. It started on the, on the top but kind of radiated all the way down through my neck. The pain on my right side started out as just a tingling and numbness in it but then it, as it progressed, it became sharp pains and would almost never go away, no matter what position I was in. The pain got so bad that I was actually not able to even sit through a meal. I would end up needing to just continually move around. And I had lost most of my muscle in my right side. I was using my left side to do almost every activity. So the pain was really just unbearable. As his pain progressed over the years, John sought help from conservative treatments and a unique at-home method. For my pain, I saw chiropractors and I had seen them on and off over the years. I have had acupuncture treatments as well. Nothing would relieve the pain. For at-home service, someone had actually recommended a unit that would stretch your neck. It was kind of an over-the-door treatment that had a weight a water bag and you could hook up a attachment kind of underneath your jaw and it would lift. And I used that for, our, for quite a while and I would even sleep with it on sometimes to try to keep my neck separated to relieve some of the pain. It actually did work, you just couldn't use it all the time. His pain eventually became intolerable and he went looking for a surgical solution. The local doctors all wanted to do surgery that was invasive, they would have to either replace some of the discs or fuse your neck, and I just didn't want to do that. They also indicated that they couldn't guarantee that there wouldn't actually be the same amount or more pain after the surgery, and I just wasn't willing to do that. So I checked a lot of different places. Someone else had actually recommended Dr. Bonatti's facility, someone I worked with before. So when I checked him out, the treatment seemed to be very reasonable. The first stop on John's journey to recovery was at the Bonatti Spine Institute's on-site imaging center for his MRI. Then he met with Dr. Bonatti for his one-on-one -on -one consultation. Dr. Bonatti, when he went over the MRI, told me what he thought I should be seeing for pain in the different areas. He was able to identify exactly what needed to be done in all the areas that I was uh, suffering or had uh, issues with pain on. He was able to tell me where on my shoulder it hurt, where down my arms and in the fingers. So he was able to identify exactly the muscles that uh, were a problem and the pain level I should be having. When Dr. Bonatti told me the procedure that he was going to use, it was very radical from procedures that all the other doctors had discussed. But because he was actually describing it as not needing to go through any of the muscles or nerves or damage my neck in any way, that there was very little risk involved and that I should actually receive immediate relief from it. It didn't compare to anything else that any other doctors had discussed, so there didn't seem to be any reason that I wouldn't even consider it. John completed his procedures with the Institute's Conscious IV Sedation Technique, an interactive approach that allows the surgeon and the patient to accurately locate, address, and eliminate the root of the problem together. During the surgery, they gave me a light sedative, but I was able to actually talk to the doctor throughout. They would ask me uh, what I felt and if there's any discomfort, making sure that there was no, no issues during the surgery. But I was aware during the entire surgeries that there was really no problem with it. Even for those with multiple levels of pain, patients can see amazing improvements and feel much needed pain relief between each of their procedures. My condition required three surgeries and they were done over a three or four month period. It really was just the amount of pain that was reduced after the first surgery was significant. Uh, it got better after all three, 
uh, but the first one relieved so much of the pain that I was able to actually start doing most, almost everything. First couple days at home, I didn't do anything, but I was actually able to return to all, you know, almost full function immediately. The recovery was very quick. It was really only a few days that I had to watch my movements when I did. After that, my life was actually able to return to normal, able to do things that I wasn't able to do for such a long time uh, while I was in pain. And uh, it's, you know, returned me to full life. If you are suffering from chronic neck or back pain, whether it's been a few months or even 20 years like John, the exclusive Bonatti Spine Procedures offer a safer, faster, and gentler approach to permanent pain relief. Dr. Bonatti's clinic offered a release from pain that I just never expected to be able to get. The pain was bad enough, and speaking with the other doctors and actually even seeing patients that had gone to other surgeons for the same kind of treatment, I remember being in a doctor's office where the patient was actually just crying at the counter following the surgeries, that they were in actually more pain than they had before the surgery. And the doctor said, well, we, didn't, we couldn't guarantee that you wouldn't have pain and it will most likely be the rest of your life. So there's no way that I would you know, risk doing any kind of treatment um, other than a non-invasive treatment like Dr. Bernani has. I've referred a number of patients over the years to the Bernani Clinic. I would say probably six people have had surgeries at the Bernani Clinic, and including my sister who went through recently as she had four surgeries over her neck and back. Everyone I've talked to that has had some kind of a neck or back problem and have told me the people they've talked to, I said, you really just have to go see the Bonatti Clinic. I would not risk going to anyone else for any kind of neck or back surgery.